Overnight, firefighters versus the record-breaking cold. In Elmwood Park, New Jersey, more than 150 firefighters from at least 10 towns battling an eight-alarm monster inferno for hours at the Markel paper mills. Miraculously, none of the 200 employees working in the building when the fire first broke were injured. As huge paper rolls caught fire, the roof collapsed, and the fire spread to propane tanks and other explosive materials. You don't see a water artist put fire in the building. You're going to be kissing it goodbye. We need water now. Ferocious winds carrying the smoke miles away. One passenger on a plane approaching Newark's International Airport could see the smoke and fire from the sky. Firefighters around the country have similar problems battling both the fires and those frigid temps. In Hammond, Indiana, these firefighters fighting a house fire in a negative 50 wind chill. Farther south in Plainfield, Indiana, a blaze at a trash facility was burning for more than 13 hours. And as crews continued to extinguish the burning trash, the trucks became coated in ice. And in Wisconsin, where temperatures were also as low as negative 50, Cameron Fire Chief Mitch Hansen looking more like an ice sculpture after a firefight. In Minnesota, an overnight firefight leaving remnants of thick ice on the house, the fire hoses, and this firefighter. And in Akron, Ohio, a fire turning deadly. A woman and three children were killed in a house fire that left the house charred and coated in ice.